So I've got a gardening challenge that I want to give to all of you viewers out there. That challenge is I want to see if you can grow enough food to reduce your grocery bill by 10% this growing season. Now I know you can do it. I'm going to be going for this challenge as well. I do this every year. It's one of the main benefits to growing your own food is that cost savings at the end of the year. Besides the fact that you're getting the freshest, best food there is on the planet, grown with your own hands, you know where it came from, saves you time as you don't have to hop into the car and go jet on down to the grocery store or to the farmer's market and get produce that may be one, two, three, four days old or more. Instead, you've always got food on demand. It's as fresh as can be. And this is what really adds to your health, to your longevity, is the act of actually getting outside, moving your body, growing your own food, eating that food. I mean, what can I say? I'm just full of gratitude every time I take a bite of the food that's growing in my own yard. And I want you guys to experience that too if you haven't yet already. If you're maybe on the fence, you haven't started gardening yet, well, now's the time. You want to get your seeds on order. You want to have them on hand. You can start flipping through those seed catalogs and see what attracts you, what you want to grow. Figure out how you want to design your plot. If you're interested in growing fruit trees, it's bare root fruit tree season. So either purchase some fruit trees from your local nursery or get online, see what some of the vendors there are offering. But you're not going to want to wait any longer. Time is of the essence. Now I know not everybody's going to be able to take me up on this challenge because not everybody has a plot of land where they can start to grow food on. Perhaps you live in an apartment or a condominium and you're just struggling on how you're going to get started. You're inspired, you want to grow your own food, but you just don't have the area to do so. Well, what I would do if I was in your situation and what I do here anyways is to sprout seeds and eat the sprouts. The sprouts are nutrient dense, loaded with all sorts of vitamins and minerals, and it's very easy to do. All you really need is a quart size mason jar, half gallon mason jar. You can make your own sprouting lid using a little bit of mesh, or you can buy a sprouting lid online. And you can start sprouting seeds like broccoli seeds, lentils, mung beans, alfalfa, sunflower seeds, the list goes on and on and on. And I'd highly encourage you to at least jump into that to meet this challenge. So let's go get it everybody. 2018 has just begun. Let's make it a great year. I believe in you. And you know, I believe each and every one of us have the ability to make a positive contribution in this world. And oftentimes it starts with an act just as small as a seed and planting that in the ground, watching it grow. So let's make it happen. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Wishing you all a great rest of your day. I'll be talking to you again soon. Take care.